and the United Nations with its symbolism of this ancient laurel wreath around a globe is nothing other than the emulation of an old pagan ideal which Lucifer once more wants to realize in the world that we live in today. As we have seen, the symbol of the United Nations is very similar to the old Hittite symbol where you had in the center the face of the sun god and now you just have a web, if you like, a spider's web, which is the symbol of Lucifer, and the encompassing earth. And of course, the laurel wreath was a symbol of all the ancient deities. So we find all for one, all together now, we are the world, was the 50th celebration of the United Nations. The New Age agenda was to merge God and nature. That's what Tyler de Chardin, the father of the philosophy of the UN, said. We must become pantheistic, eradicate male-female distinction, world peace, nuclear disarmament, one world government, one world religion. The organizations leading up to this, the United Nations, of course, Council of Foreign Relations, Trilateral Commission, Bilderbergers, Gorbachev Foundation, and the Club of Rome. And they've already put up a constitution which is known as the Constitution for the Federation of Earth. So we really have a world constitution. Now, obviously, if you want to bring about a situation like that, you have to influence the education of the world so that the mindset and the thinking of people is changed. So education is a very important point. This comes straight from their own web pages. <laughs> wow, you cannot say this is hearsay. It comes straight from them. You know the org. The world will not change and find peace if there is not a new education. You tant former Secretary General of the United Nations. We need a new education. The old one's no good. The former director of the World Health Organization, Dr. Brock Chisholm, of course that's also a United Nations organization, says, to achieve world government it is necessary to remove from the minds of men their individualism. That's kind of scary, don't you think? Loyalty to family traditions. Oh, that's even worse. National patriotism and religious dogmas. Now, these are the movers of the United Nations. Your individualism must go. You must become a number. Just doing what the state says. This is Marxism. The state is supreme and you are nothing but the catechumen, a goyim, a nothing. And you must give up your individuality. Did you know that Christ created us all free agents? Every single one of us? No one to be subject to anyone but God because only to God can you trust your subjection because he is 100% selflessness, which he proved when he came to this earth. How would you like to be a subject of Lucifer and be bound by chains to his chariots to do his whims? I would hate that. But in any case, in order to do that, you'll have to give up your individualism. Now let's have a look again at this man, Robert Miller. Philosopher, prophet of hope, top-level global statesman, and uh, what a mighty man. He's the Chancellor of the University of Peace, created by the United Nations. He uh, is the creator of what is known as the World Core Curriculum. That says everything. And he's known throughout as the world as the father of global education. There are 29 Robert Miller schools around the world, more being established each year. World Core Curriculum earned him the UNESCO Peace Prize in 1989. He has recently drawn up a framework for world media coverage. What you see on your television is what you're supposed to see, not what you should see. As a public service, as well as a framework for planetary and cosmic consciousness. Wow, so your mindset, your cultural mindset must be changed, your framework for the arts and culture. These are occultists speaking. After all, he said so himself. He says he follows Alice A. Bailey. He's the author of the World Core Curriculum. What does that do? Everything is a quote. Steer our children towards global citizenship, earth-centered beliefs, socialist values, the collective mindset, which is becoming a requirement of the 20th century workforce. Your children will have to be modified. We are living in a frightening world. 
Good. Robert Miller, what does he write about a World Core curriculum? He says a World Core curriculum might seem utopian today, but by the end of the year 2000, have we passed that? Yes. It will be down to earth daily reality in, what does it say there? All the schools of the world. Now, I believe you me, I have been in the education system. I officially left the education system one month ago. And what I have seen in the last few years, the changes, are hair-raising. Hair-raising. If that is what is awaiting us, then God help this world. 